probably one of the biggest electrical issues I encounter on the daily is when drivers do their own wiring. Don't get me wrong, I love drivers. They mean well. I know they're trying to do something so they don't have to bug me. So if you are somebody who does your own electrical, just watch this for a second. So this is an insulated butt connector. Insulated butt connectors are great. They're super convenient, super easy. The issue with it being though is that a lot of drivers I find don't realize that if you're not using the right crimpers that you're kind of doing more damage than good. So a lot of people do their wiring and then crimp down on this like that without realizing that now we have a hole inside there. So now the issue with this is that let's say I have two wires in here and I'm done. I'm crimped. Now, if I take my lighter and I melt it and I seal it, now with this center bit where the butt connector itself is, is not sealed and it is not gonna take long to corrode. Also, Tools was nice enough to send me these ratcheting crimpers. The nice thing with these is that you're not going to over crimp or damage your actual insulated bit. So then I would just take this. You can see that there's different sizes for your different gauge wire. So I would just put this one in the blue, like so. And then I would just crimp it. So you can actually see the difference between the crimps. This one's old tools on this side, and then this one's a snap-on on this side. I have really small hands, so this is really nice being able to just squeeze it together. And then, so if I stop here, it doesn't open because it's not crimped all the way. So you have to force it all the way and finish your crimp. That's a crimp. 